Is your car slammed and you scraped away the front under tray? Or did you buy a car used and not even get it at all? Well, Z-Speed has a solution for you. We're gonna install this aluminum front under tray on our 370Z track car just to stiffen up the front end and uh, improve the aerodynamics. Let's get to it. Our 370Z track car, uh, we unfortunately learned in our last event that the splitter we had on it made by PowerStream, because it went all the way back and like under the engine, it actually uh, counted as functional aero, which you think any splitter would, but because it goes past the engine, it counts as functional aero and it bumped us up a class. So we decided to remove it because we wanna bring this back down into the 370 class. Uh, and have it be a little bit more competitive because uh, we were racing with GTRs with that uh, splitter and those are twin turbo and they have more displacement and it was a little sad to see this car but uh, it's going to do really well against the 370s after we put a splash shield back under it. We don't have the factory one so we decided to upgrade to a Z-Speed aluminum one so let's go get that. From the factory, the splash shield uses three pop clips in the center of the shield just to secure it up there. Z-Speed wants it to be extra secure, so they actually give you three riv nuts that you put in the place of the OEM pop clips. Then you can mount a 10 mil, or actually a six millimeter bolt uh, through it, and it's much more secure and stronger than the OEM one. All right, so following Z-Speed's instructions, they say to drill out the holes that the OEM pop clips go in to 23 64 So I got my drill bit, gonna load it up in the drill, and uh, gonna drill out those three holes, just slightly larger. The, the rivet nuts look like they'll fit in there, but when you go to line it up, it actually is pretty much the same size, uh, like the outside, or the inside body is like the same size as the hole. So I'm gonna drill it out a little bit, and then they'll pop in. One, two, and, and three. Now I'm gonna grab my tools and get these three rib nuts installed. The Z-Speed undershroud comes with a bunch of speed nuts. Uh, we luckily still have most of the factory ones, so only I only needed two of these. But uh, if you're missing them, Z-Speed supplies them, as well as a bunch of six millimeter uh, or M6 bolts, which are really nice. They're high grade and they got the built-in washers like the OEM ones. So if you're missing the hardware, don't worry about it. Z-Speed provides it. Now that we got all the rib nuts in, let's get the motor shroud installed. Just gonna go around and get all these 10 mils started before pretty much tightening any of them. So not only is the Z-Speed much more structurally sound than the OEM one, but it also has this nice little trap door over here uh, that lets you take off the oil filter and drain the oil uh, without having to drop the whole undershield. So that's a pretty nice feature that a uh, lot of the OEM shield definitely doesn't have and some of the aftermarkets don't even have. So. It's a nice feature of this one. So now that I got all the bolts started, I'm just gonna take my 10 mil and go around and tighten them all up.
thanks for getting this far into the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, thanks for everyone who entered our giveaway in the last video. The winner of the t-shirt is right here. Uh, we'll be contacting you shortly. If you guys like this content and you guys want to see some more, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. An easy way to make horsepower on an NA car. Unbox this bad boy and take a closer look. Ooh. Beautiful car.